Let's get to a big story of the day. Uh, big expose came out on ESPN.com. Tim McMahon, the writer, about how James Harden dominated the culture of the, or still, I guess, to this day, dominates or has dominated the culture of the Houston Rockets. Uh, one of the big quotes from the story was even, the culture in Houston was this, quote, whatever James wants. They talked about how he would be late for planes. We heard that with Kawhi Leonard, and, and you know, that caused a problem with the Clippers but that he'd be late for some flights, that he'd be late for film sessions, um, that he essentially determined when they practiced, that if they had a few games off, then, you know, a few days off between games, he was going to miss one of the practices because he was going to go to Vegas or Atlanta or one of the cities that he loves to party in and just be gone and miss a day of practice. And um, that even if they were in a city – and they weren't on the front end of a back-to-back game. If they were in one of the cities he likes, Los Angeles, Phoenix, some of his favorite places, Atlanta again, that the team would stay over at his, you know, behest. And so um, now all of that's coming out, and uh, they're just talking about how the the Houston Rockets bent over backwards to let James do whatever James wanted to do. And now, of course, you see uh, that it hadn't worked out. They don't have any championships. And on top of that, he wants out. And so uh, what, what are your thoughts on this, Rob? I, I think this is uh, NBA business as usual. Nothing. I just think you could do this. Whenever something goes awry, you could dig, dig, and figure it all out. But this is going on all over. I've been covering the NBA since 1987. And there's always been superstars get to do what it is they want to do. Not and everywhere. All, just about, just Miami about. Miami don't play that. Just, just about. Um, and it, this goes on, and uh, I'm, I'm not surprised when Dan Gilbert built the the new practice facility near LeBron's house. Yeah, right? but I that, mean, that's fine. That's fine. No, no, no. I mean, no. I'm per Chris. Chris, Chris are you asking hurts. me for my? I'm just trying. Can I? Can I make my? I my just, point? I just responded okay. to what you said. That's all. All right. I just responded to what you said. Okay, go ahead. You, you go ahead. No, nah, man, come on. Have a conversation. No, I, I can't have a conversation because I can't say I can't, anything. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't no, respond you to what go you ahead. said. Just go you ahead. Let me hear he, what your take. You compare, Let me hear your take. You compared your take. Dan Gilbert building. I hear your, the, I hear your take. I hear no, you're not because now you interrupted me. Go, go ahead. You go. You go. You compared Dan you Gilbert go. building. You go. Man, talk. If you're going to let me talk, quit saying you go. I'm going. You compared Dip Building, Dan Gilbert Building, Cleveland's practice facility near LeBron's house. It's right in the middle of Cleveland. It really is. It, it, it's near a lot of people's houses. You compared that to a guy being late all the time. And, and, and I, you're right. I mean, perks, all superstars get perks. We know that. There's no problem with that. But it only really works when you win. And there is a kind of a line that needs to be drawn as to where you can get your perks. Like, you can't just do any old thing that you want to. Because if that were the case and it was just, oh, everybody in the NBA knows this is how it is, this, why would it bother other players? If, if everybody in the NBA accepted that this is the way it is, why was Montrez Harrell, Lou Williams, uh, Pat Beverly, and, and maybe some other Clippers bothered that Kawhi was showing up late for flights. That Kawhi and Paul George weren't practicing much. That Kawhi and Paul George were getting rope and not being held accountable like everybody else. Why, why would they be upset if that's just the NBA? Why would Russell Westbrook be upset with a, a childhood friend is getting all of this leeway if that's just how it was in the NBA? Because the report said that you know, Harden was late for a film session, you know, one of the several times. And Westbrook was like, man, just go. Let's, let's watch the film without him. Start it now. And Mike D'Antoni was like, well, we're just going to have to start all over when he gets here. I mean, Westbrook was bothered by it. Chris Paul was bothered by it. So I'm just saying, I mean, I think we all understand they get their perks, but there's a limit. And it just seems like they went well over that limit in Houston. I've talked to plenty of people, and all this stuff goes on. None of the owners, and they let the players 
who make the most money. It's such a specialized job. Only a handful of people can do what these guys do. And for the most part, they all get away with it. And the only time, if these players were really bothered, they wouldn't have to wait till after they get knocked out of the playoffs to, to, to leak these stories. Players could push back and say, we're not, you know, like, like uh, this is what's going on. We're not happy with it. Go to management. Get this guy out of here. We don't want to play if he's on the team. None of that stuff will ever go on. Because they, this is what happens to stars. It's a star-driven league. You always hear about the NBA. It's a player's league. It's about the two or three players who make the difference. No other sport would, does one or two people make that big of a difference. Even in the NFL, even in baseball or hockey, it ain't about one guy. In the NBA, if you take James Harden off the Rockets or play without him, you're not the same. So this this whole, oh, James did this and did that, and I can't believe it, and he we stayed in different towns. This happened. I remember when the, the Pistons, a coach, was from Northern California and wanted to see family, so they stayed an extra night. This, ha- this stuff happens all the time. You're comparing I'm not, that? No, to, I'm just saying I mean, it ain't unusual, the stuff that they're talking about with Harden. And if you dig deeper – uh, Dennis Rodman, we found out during the season, I'm going to Vegas. Ain't nobody put up no stink. They let him go during the season. Go. And Michael Jordan had to fly out to go get him. Anybody else could have would have cut him. But no, he was important to the team. This is my point. Right? Why? Why is he allowed to go to Vegas for three days during the season and not practice? Why? Because he was that good. Because they needed him to rebound. This is not new, Chris. That's my point. And this is what goes on. And it sounds juicy. And, and had the Rockets, when uh, Chris Paul got hurt and had they won that series, or gone, you might not have ever even heard this stuff, you know, or, or it wouldn't have come out. This is just fodder for when things don't go right. And now because James Harden is wounded and looks like he's either on his way out or what's going on. Now everybody, all the uh, ex-employees and ex-coaches, all anonymous, are all throwing out this stuff. This is what happens. I'm not saying it's false. I'm just saying this is not new to me. All I'm saying is there's a line. And and you're. it's not all black and white. It's not all superstars get perks so they can do all of these things that Harden did. There's a line. I mean, we had Eddie House on, and he said, yeah, superstars get their advantages, and we all understand that, but there's a limit. You, I mean, in Miami, LeBron was surprised, shocked at how tight a ship they ran. He couldn't do everything he wanted to within that organization, things he had gotten away with in Cleveland. So certain organizations don't allow, there's a limit to what you can do. And you're right, if you bring a championship, people will put up with a lot. But when you don't, and obviously James Harden hasn't, that's when it can become a problem. So you can't, it's not high school. You can't run it like a high school team. I agree with you on that. But you also can have a culture where there's respect. I mean, if a guy's late to the team flight all of the time, that can be a problem. You know, and that, and, that, and we got two examples. I mean, you could say, oh, it's just because they lost. But maybe that contributed to them losing. And just because some teams are able to overcome bad chemistry and win, that doesn't mean every team can. Some teams need better chemistry. So it's, it's nuanced. It's not just black and white. But I, I just think if you if you give a guy this type of rope, then he's got to give you championships. And obviously, James Harden didn't do 